This is a story about Mr. Johnson the panda. Mr. Johnson the panda and the wilting flowers, to be precise. Mr. Johnson lives in fluffy gardens, a wonderful place to live. Our story begins one very bright morning. The sun was shining as it had been for the last few weeks. It was turning out to be a glorious summer. Poppy the tiger was sitting out in her garden, wearing her favorite sunglasses. Colleen the cow was lying in the little field outside her house, watching the birds fly by. Camille the crocodile was splashing about in her paddling pool. Everyone was loving the sunshine. Well, not everyone. Because it had been so hot for so long and hadn't rained, Mr. Johnson's flowers were starting to wilt. For the last few weeks, he had run around his garden with his little green watering can, desperately trying to water all his flowers. Every single day, and even every night. And now, on this bright morning, Mr. Johnson the panda was exhausted. As Mr. Johnson stood in his garden, trying to stay awake, Tooty the elephant was out for a morning jog. Hello, Mr. Johnson, Tooty called to him with a smile. Normally, Mr. Johnson would wave and say hello, but being tired made him rather grumpy. Stay away from my flowers, he yelled. <coughs> Tooty jumped and ran away. Mr. Johnson didn't mean to frighten Tooty. He was just tired. And as he yawned a big yawn, <coughs> Mr. Johnson realized he needed help. So that day, Mr. Johnson posted a help-wanted notice all around town. It told all about his poor wilting flowers and about how tired he was. The very next morning, Camille, the rather clumsy crocodile, turned up at Mr. Johnson's door. I would love to help you water your flowers, she said with a smile. Mr. Johnson gave Camille his little green watering can and went to bed happy in the knowledge that Camille could water all his flowers. But just as he was about to go to sleep, he heard a crash. He looked out his window. Camille, being clumsy, had tripped over a plant pot and fallen into a patch of daisies. My daisies! exclaimed Mr. Johnson. Boo. Camille was too clumsy to water his flowers. Later that day, Mr. Johnson wrote, Must be careful, in big letters on his help wanted notices. <laughs> the very next morning, Mavis, the very careful pony, turned up at Mr. Johnson's door. I would love to help, she said. And I'm always very careful, she added. Mr. Johnson gave Mavis his watering can. But just as he was about to go to sleep, he decided to look out the window just to make sure Mavis was not being clumsy. Well, she wasn't being clumsy. You see, flowers make Mavis sneeze, so she was tiptoeing around them very very slowly, trying to water each one without actually getting close to any of them. She was going so slowly, she'd never get them watered. Mavis was too careful to water his flowers. Mr. Johnson didn't know what to do. He was standing in his garden feeling terribly tired. When Paolo the cat turned up. What you need suggested Paolo, is something that can just sit in your garden and spray water all over your flowers. A sprinkler. Do you have one of those? asked Mr. Johnson. No, said Paolo. <gasps> and then Mr. Johnson had an idea. He didn't have a sprinkler, but he knew someone who was one. Thank you, Paolo, he said. 
and with a sudden burst of energy, he ran off. When Mr. Johnson returned, he had someone with him. Someone who loves to exercise. Can you guess who it was? It was Tooty the elephant. Tooty, like most elephants, has a long trunk that can suck up water and spray it all around. He would be a great help. But you wanted me to stay away, said Tooty. You shouted at me. I'm terribly sorry, said Mr. Johnson. I was worried you would run all over my flowers. But really, I was just a bit grumpy. That's okay, said Tooty with a smile. I'd love to help. And he sucked up water through his trunk from a bright red bucket and sprayed the whole garden with water. Mr. Johnson was amazed. His whole garden was getting lots of water and his flowers loved it. And that night, Mr. Johnson had one of the best sleeps of his whole life. The next morning, he woke up so refreshed, he was actually really looking forward to watering his flowers by himself. And then, it rained. Thank <laughs> you.